12 things you should know before moving to Wallen Park, Venice slash Northport, Florida. And we're getting started right now. The first thing is prices. What could people expect for prices buying in Wellen Park? Well, it really depends. Wellen Park, it's a master plan community. There is a lot of new construction going on, but there's also some resale homes available. There are villas, condos now as well and single family homes. So depending on what you're looking for, you might be able to find something, I would say very minimum mid 400,000 and upwards. Yeah, and one thing to keep in mind is if you ever do drive through the Welland Park area, you might see signs from like builders saying, homes from the 300s. And one that might be a little outdated, they might, you know, the prices might've went up and they didn't change the sign. But two, when you see that, you might be thinking, wow, 300,000 for a brand new home and a brand new master plan community with a brand new downtown, which we'll talk about that downtown in a little bit but that's probably outdated pricing and probably for a villa you yeah. know usually they're going to list and from, that was like 2019 prices too yeah yes so like now it should be from the 400s and that's we're talking probably a villa maybe a little below 400 if you're lucky you might be able to get a villa but yeah as a whole you're looking on on, on that 400 on up and on up could be what would you say two mil no or so you know give or take depending yeah depending on what you're looking for so there is a lot of different opportunities in Welland Park a lot of different homes home styles whether you want something you know very like basic builder grade materials or if you want something like top of the line model home type materials so it all just depends on what you're looking for but yeah I would say anywhere between the mid 400 thousands and upwards that is one of the more exciting things right now with Welland Park is there is a little bit more of those kind of luxury high-end builders coming yes. to the area and they, they have some gorgeous gorgeous homes but yeah it will cost more to get those of course next thing you should know before moving to Welland Park is the weather weather here it's beautiful in spring fall and winter and summer in my opinion but not most people's <laughs> summer it's hot as you know Florida it's very very hot during the summer and humid but I mean I feel like it's the same as you know like we're from the Midwest Wisconsin and in winter it gets really really cold so usually if you don't need to go out you don't go out same thing here in florida like for us in summer the cool thing though is that if you do like you can spend most of the day inside with the ac but if you do have to go somewhere you don't have to bundle up to go somewhere like you can just put your flip flops on and you're good to go yeah and you can still you know spend your evenings outside and, yeah. and nights for sure you know have the you know windows open and things like that so that's kind of nice and yeah i think it's also worth noting that the winters are kind of fun because you get like this nice mix sometimes it'll feel like you know being in the midwest or the northeast it'll feel kind of like a fall or a spring day or a summer day and you could have three of those days in a row where each day feels a little different so the weather's kind of nice those times a year and then the actual spring and fall in florida i think is pretty much perfect you're talking like high of around 80 maybe mid 70s maybe a little above 80. yeah, yeah. humidity is not so crazy and also if you layer that's i guess a, a good tip layer because in the morning it might feel like pretty cold especially when in the winter made it in the winter yes and well in a little bit in, in yeah spring too. occasionally yeah yeah but as the day progresses it gets warmer and warmer so you might be dressed for cold weather but then during the day it's just like it's warm so you're overdressed so just layering your clothing it's a, a good tip <laughs> yeah and other thing uh with the summer that we should no note is that's the rainy season it's also the hurricane season which you know, I think in Welland Park, you have a little bit less to worry about because, you know, most of the homes are newer construction. They're elevated. You know, you got the yeah, the biggest upgrades too on, you know, depending on the builder, but most of them are upgraded and just being newer homes is going to help. But yeah, uh, that's July through November is the hurricane season. But typically it seems like it's at its peak around like, you know, August, September, and maybe a little bit October. And you're going to get a shower just about every day. Sometimes it'll last five minutes and be dry a little bit later sometimes it'll last an hour and be dry a little bit later and occasionally it'll rain all day in the summer but you don't see a whole lot of that next thing you should know about welland park is the seasonal migration now we recently did a video talking about things you should know about northport before moving to the area and i feel like welland park is like a little different than northport even though it is northport it's definitely got i mean we've been to the downtown during the spring break time and man it's it's getting packed it's, it's getting there. crazy i mean it, and which is insane because like when the downtown opened almost a year ago from the time of filming this there was like 
it was like a ghost town. It was kind of weird. It was just us always. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was pretty much us walking around, and and then once a few of the restaurants and shops opened, there was a few more people, and then once Oak and Stone, I swear it was Oak and Stone. Once they opened, it was like always packed. Yes, and, everyone's there. Yeah, and there's definitely a. I mean, you still see a fair amount of people there during even like the summer months, at least t towards the end of last summer we did, but the winter months is like wow yeah okay this is a, a spot now so you have to be prepared for that you know that seasonal change uh, as far as people coming down as snowbirds or people vacationing or family coming down to visit for people that live here and things like that yes and during spring break it does get a lot busier but it's not you know your miami crowd yes. it's your like families younger kids you know like school age kids coming with their families maybe to visit their grandparents i'm assuming and yeah it gets busy but it's not like a party town by any means yeah, it's a much different vibe the next thing that you should know before the next thing that you should know is if you're looking to buy or sell a home in the welland park area you're going to want a good real estate team make sure to call text or email us 941-221-1897 and we'd love to help you another thing you should know about welland park is that it's growing fast very yes. very quickly and welland park it's a master plan community and once welland park it's all said and done it'll be around 60,000 population here in the area and i think during winter that will change as well because there is a lot of snowbirds that actually either own a home in Welland Park or they rent a home in Welland Park during the winter. And I think one other thing to note too with Welland Park is there is a lot more families coming to the area as well. So there's going to be, I think, a little bit more of a steady like year round population there compared to like Venice or even Inglewood. So that's something to keep in mind, you know, that it's changing. And I think that's the one good thing about Welland Park is people that are buying in Welland Park, they know they're buying into something that is expanding it's that's kind of the idea with it and what makes it exciting so i think it's a little different than you know a lot of people that maybe live in venice or inglewood or sarasota and they don't like seeing it change you know it, it's a much different perspective i think if, if you're buying there but just keep in mind if you are buying there you know it's growing fast now and it's going to be growing fast for another you know 15 20 ish years so you know, don't be surprised by that hopefully you don't get angry about that because we're trying to tell you right now it's going to happen whether you want it to or not next thing you should know before moving to welland park is the amenities when people think of welland park they think it's just one community like one big master plan community and while that is somewhat true it's actually different neighborhoods that make up Welland Park. So each neighborhood is going to have its own amenities, its own HOA fees, and its own CDD fees. If you buy in one of those neighborhoods, say you buy in Island Grand Park, so okay, <laughs> I was sorry, Island Park. I was just gonna throw it at you. Okay. Say you buy in Grand Paradiso, you will not have access to Island Walk's amenities. You will only have access to your own amenities in Grand Paradiso because that's what you're paying for. But you will have access to all the amenities in the downtown. So the trail that, you know, there is around the lake in Welland Park, you'll have access to that. You'll have access to pretty much everything in the downtown. And if you have a friend over at Island Walk, they can invite you over. And then now you'll have also access to those amenities. But in short, you don't have access to anything other than your own neighborhood's amenities because Welland Park is composed of many different neighborhoods. That brings us to the next thing. She just talked about it that you should know before moving to Welland Park, and that's about the downtown. So first of all, the downtown as is is pretty awesome. You got a trail, as she mentioned, and, and trails that kind of fork off. They, they're trying to connect basically all the different communities to make them walkable, bikeable, and or golf cartable to this new downtown. That's awesome. Big lake you can fish in it you can kayak on it all kinds of stuff going on with that lots of different shops and restaurants there right now you got a splash pad you got the great lawn they've got a little uh the solace hall i shouldn't say little it's kind of big for <laughs> weddings and things like that and they we have the playground as well yeah and we finally actually were there the other day and saw an actual wedding happening I'm like oh cool it's being used so it's, it's exciting but what's extra exciting is it ain't done yet we're starting phase two right now at the time of filming this. We actually did a video previously on the channel. Uh, go ahead and go back on our channel if you want to watch it, but talking about the future of the downtown in phase two and all the other things that are coming. There's like a new hotel with a rooftop bar and first floor, I believe shopping and dining. And you know, there's just a ton of land. There's a hospital coming. There's like all this stuff and all this land that's being developed yet is part of this downtown. It's going to expand it and increase the things to do and the appeal of it, I think. And Costco, which isn't part of the downtown, but I mean, I think it's part of 
you know, what, Park, yeah, nearby that, area. yeah, that whole strip on Tamiami. And that, I think somehow, and then this is just speculation, I think they're going to make it where, because right now, like you have the downtown and then you have like Cool Today Park in a different area and it feels quite separated, still walkable, but it feels like there is some separation there. I think they are going to make this whole area very walkable, at least all the businesses that are on the same side of 41. Mm -hmm, yeah. yeah, they'll make it so that people can walk because that's really what a downtown is or should be. <laughs> yeah. So just be aware, you know, there's more coming. So I guess this isn't like a beware thing. This is like be aware that's probably going to get more awesome unless you don't want the downtown to be bigger. But I think most people do. And I think, you know, being, uh, you know, aware that it's going to maybe take a little time for all the stuff that you want to be there to be there. That's something that should be definitely something that you put into consideration before buying. Next thing you should know if you're moving to Ellen Park is that there is not a lot of shopping right now. There is some like i know there's a like a jewelry store some like home goods type like decor store so there is a couple stores but there's not a lot but you're not too far from the shopping centers in northport like that's just literally down the road and also in venice so you're like almost like in the middle between northport and venice shopping and if you want a lot more shopping, you can drive down to Sarasota, which would be about a 30, 35 minute drive. Yeah. And really, I mean, to get to the North Porter Venice shopping, you're talking like 10, 15 yeah. minutes. It's really not bad Either at all. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's not like it's, you know, it almost feels like it's kind of part of your city because Welland Park kind of sits smack dab in the middle of kind of what Northport proper would be. And like that south end of Venice, which has a big shopping area with Walmart target bells Publix, and actually there's a Publix right there in welland park as yes. well so you know and there's a little bit of ice cream shops and stuff too as part of that whole Publix little shopping area so you know restaurants yeah, i think they nice. they've got you covered pretty well in welland park already but the the shopping side of things yeah there needs to be a little bit more but once that costco comes in i think that'll help and a few more of those things on tamiami as well yes and with phase two once that's done too there will be i'm sure a lot more shopping and just off of 41 just because that's how this whole area is set up like that where you drive through highway 41 slash tamiami trail and you see all the businesses on both sides of the highways assuming welland park will be no different and there will be a lot more shopping and more businesses coming to the area as well next thing you should know before buying in welland park is the insurance situation is probably actually better there i guess than a lot of florida just because of the nature of welland park being so new but in florida insurance has been going up a lot of people have seen their premiums you know go up time and a half double some people triple and you're looking at anywhere you know from 1500 to maybe up to 5000 maybe even more than that but welland park you're probably going to be sitting on the lower end because New one there's yeah almost all of them are new construction and or not very old resale homes we're talking maybe what 10 maybe 15 years old for for you know some of the older ones so that's going to help bring down your cost of insurance quite a bit and also well in park it's more inland so that will help as well with the insurance premiums with new construction homes too the premiums are going to be less because the risk it's a lot less of something happening and most of those homes either have the shutters or they have hurricane impact windows which also helps lower your premiums down yeah and you're also looking at newer roofs you're looking at you know elevated lots all the little things that kind of go into making the houses more hurricane proof plus the newer more upgraded materials that you know meet the most current codes so all those things are going to help bring your price down your wrist down and make living there a little bit more easy breezy next thing you should know before moving to welland park is the types of homes and the home sizes available there are single family homes villas condos now townhomes townhomes and the sizes of these homes like there is a lot of different opportunities depending on what you need if you're a family there are like even four bedroom homes available in the welland park area if you are a snowbird and maybe only need a two bedroom villa plus then there's also that available and if you want to live a more relaxed lifestyle there are condos available yeah and as a whole i would say the majority of Walland park though you're looking at mostly single family homes and villas but yeah there are the opportunities especially near the downtown area for some of those more super low maintenance or you know smaller type living situations there's also an independent living and apartments the the tropia Tropia? Oh, yeah. I don't know how you say it. Tropia? Tropia? T-R-O-P-I-A. And yeah. And those apartments are pretty cool because they're really close to the downtown. Yeah. So, like, you can just walk to downtown and go to Foxtail and get a coffee. <laughs> and a popcorn. 
<laughs> Next thing you should know before you move to Welland Park is the feel and the vibe of the area. It is an awesome feel and vibe. They're trying to make things definitely gearing more towards getting people outside, a little more active lifestyle, lots of walking trails. They want people to take golf carts around. They want you to bike. They, you know, are definitely trying to, it's called Welland Park, like W-E-L-L, -L, like live well is kind of the whole theme behind the area. But with that, there's like a nice mix too of like retirees, snowbirds, families, you know, younger people, uh, kids. So it's it's a nice, pleasant mix. It's, I don't know how you'd explain it, like a, a suburban utopia, I guess would be a good way of describing it. You know, it's best of a little bit of urban feel mixed with suburban, mixed with almost country and, you know, like nature and things like that. I just like how they've kind of brought everything together. Yeah, it's very residential, but now with the downtown being there, it feels like you're almost part of this big-ish city, but it's really not big, if that makes sense. But yeah, it, it's a nice combination of all those things. Next thing you should know before moving down to Ellen Park is the schools. There is a brand new charter school for grade kindergarten to eighth grade. There is going to be a high school and another elementary school. And also the schools in Venice are, you know, just down the road as well. Or if you want to send your kids to Northport, you have access to those schools as well. Sarasota County is a choice school district. So you can decide where to send your children to. But I think the schools in Venice would be much closer to the whole Willem Park area than the ones in Northport. Yeah, super exciting to be in an area where you can send your kids to a brand new school. I think that's pretty awesome. And as a whole, just Sarasota County, one thing to know is they were recently moved up to the number one county in all of Florida for the school system. So, you know, based on the rankings, you really can't go wrong. And for the bigger kids, there's also a college in Willem Park, College of South Florida. It's like pretty much in the downtown area um, yeah. off of 41 and West Villages Park. Way. Next thing you should know about Welland Park before moving to the area is jobs. There is not a lot of those right in Welland Park outside of, you know, the shops and restaurants that are there right now. Now you are, as we mentioned before, really close to Northport and Venice. And, you know, there's more opportunities there as far as, you know, education, obviously service, you know, working at stores, restaurants, you know, other service type industries. You've got construction, of course, which is big in this area because it is booming or anything along those lines with remodeling and healthcare. healthcare and then uh, there's a the new Amazon warehouse that's or new ish now I guess yeah. warehouse that's in the Venice area and then you know if you maybe need something more you know office or you know just something outside of those kinds of fields you can always drive up to uh, Sarasota which you're talking about a 30 to 45 minute drive to get there and then also to the south you've got your Fort Myers area and if you want to go a little further you got the Tampa Metro too you know add a little another like maybe 15 20 minutes to that Sarasota commute. So there are options if you're willing to drive and you need something outside of those, you know, kind of narrow set of fields, which I don't know, even though it's kind of, you know, just about everyone can find something. And I think one other thing to consider is if you have your own business, it might be a good opportunity in this area too. Or if you work from home and you're able to bring that job to Florida, that's also another good opportunity there. If you're looking to buy or sell a home in the Welland Park area, make sure to call, text, or email our team 941-221-1897. We'd love to help you find your dream home or sell your current home if you're sick of it and you want to get to a new dream home. And if you want to know more about what it's like to live in Welland Park, check out this video right here. Hit the like button if you found the video helpful. Subscribe and turn on all notifications to learn more about the area and live breezy.